Well, we've been a hair away all season, except for maybe two games. You know, I mean, technically, even though we're 0 6, I felt like we were that close to being 4 2. And, uh, you know, I preach this team all year long just to hang in there, that when one comes, hopefully we're going to get on a roll. And, uh, you know, not only that, I mean, just keep swinging that sword and keep pounding. But, you know, there's some ties here with uh, my <coughs> offensive coordinator coming from Sun Valley, playing here and being here for a while, and then uh, Drew Swoop, you know, coming over from Sun Valley to us. So, you know, there's some emotional ties there, and I'm sure they were feeling in their locker room as well. And, uh, you know, we just we felt that we had a good game plan coming in, uh, wanted to get the ball deep and, and to an unbelievable player in Emeka Mezi. And, you know, not only him, but some of the other guys we had at receiver made some heck, heck of a plays tonight. And, you know, it set the tone right off the bat, first play of the game, the touchdown. And I think we have talents. Yes, we're a young football team. We don't have many seniors, and uh, the seniors we do play a vital role in what we're doing. But when you don't have a senior-laden football team and you're young, I mean, sometimes you're going to take those lumps. And, you know, it's, it's been one of those things, just trying to stay the path. And sometimes that path's not easy. And we've, we've stayed it. And, you know, hopefully we can build off this game and continue to win, you know, a few conference games and hope maybe win out. I mean, who knows? And I, I've always told them, I said, once we get one, it's going to be contagious. And, you know, but it has been a rocky start. But I, I think every step that we've gone through our season so far has led to this moment. And hopefully we continue to build off of it. Yes, I'd love our team to, you know, have a chance to make the playoffs. I look at it and what I tell them, we ain't got nothing to lose, guys. You know, the way we started the season, we dug ourselves a hole. We don't have anything to lose, and all we got to do is go out and play and have fun. Your defense has straddled Albert Frundeberg the last two seasons. Uh, talk about the technique and the strategy behind bottling him up tonight. It's amazing because he's an unbelievable back. I mean, a great guy. And, uh, you know, to hold him in check the way we have, especially tonight and even last year, uh, is a credit to our defense, especially the players, but also our, our defensive staff. And, uh, you know, I'm not giving away the secret, but I mean, it, you know, it is quite an accomplishment to hold a back like that uh, the way we did tonight. Talk about the uh, weapon that you have in Marion Watson um, on the kickoffs and field goals. Obviously, is a, a big weapon for your team. Oh yeah, I mean, he's got a powerful leg. Uh, naturally, what what he's best at is punting, and we asked him to do a little bit of everything uh, tonight. He was awesome in, with the field goals, the long field goals, and, and putting the ball in the end zone. Uh, you know. Just like any kicker, you struggle with consistency, and you know we've been working and really trying to be, you know, in his in his head and challenging him. And tonight he came through for us. And just talk about um, Mecca, his size and his ability. Um, he's he's a whole package. Uh, he is. Uh, he's a great kid first, and that's what's most important. And a great student, uh, unbelievable football player, unbelievable talent. And uh, you know we're just going to keep tapping into that talent and. and you know, try to feed him football as much as we can. Uh, he he's unbelievable high point catcher. I mean, he runs good routes, and he's a crucial part of what we do on offense.